Today I'm showing you everything I got from a buy nothing exchange, so please stick around. Hi friends, my name is Claire and this is my channel, Whatcha Theory. Here, I make content about what it is like to live as an adult on the autism spectrum and whatever else feels good to me. So if that sounds good to you, or if you're feeling particularly gracious today, and I hope that you are, please go ahead and click the subscribe button, ring the bell. I almost forgot to mention that I put out videos a few times a week, so click the like and the share. This week I got to experience something I have never done before, and that is go to a behind nothing exchange. I have done this years ago with a group of friends where we decided to all get together and do a swap where we brought our clothes, accessories that we didn't want anymore and we swapped it out with one another. Uh, but I've never done it with people I didn't know. I was invited by some friends who had heard about this event and basically it was an event where you brought your old stuff and everyone else brought their old stuff and they laid it all out on tables and people took what they wanted. So that is what I did. I went to this event. How was it? It was really fun. It was interesting because I wasn't sure what to expect. There was a lot of people uh, because it was a bunch of other people's stuff. There was a lot of different smells because it's, you know, people's stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Have you ever been to a thrift store? <laughs> There's a lot of different smells and there was a lot of noise, but I think in general I was able to handle it okay and I'd love to show you what I picked up. What did I bring to the exchange? Great question. I brought just a few pieces of clothing. I probably took a few more items than I brought, but there was so much stuff there that I'm sure it was okay. I'm not sure what they did with the leftover items. Probably, I'm gonna assume they probably donated them. Even as the event went on, they kept bringing more stuff out, more stuff out. So I'm not bothered by the amount of things that I picked up. I did try to be wise with my decisions. My friends had a very good point that if something didn't fit, you could always bring it back to another swap or you could donate it. And I thought that that was a great idea. So I kind of loosened up on things a bit just got the things that I liked, put them in my bag, and then we left. So here's what we picked up at the swap. First thing was this big, thick coat. It's green plaid. Like a shirt coat, but it's, it's like a coat. It's by the company Thread and Supply in a size medium. Oh, the inside's like a t-shirt material. I haven't, I didn't even try it on yet. I just assumed that a medium would fit. It still has its extra button. It is made in China. It's 100% polyester. It says it's mint buffalo plaid style. But listen, it's green, it's casual, and it's warm. So I thought that was a really good find for me. All right, let's go through the bag. Oh, if you watched my porch coffee, this is the only thing I've taken out and used so far. That is not true. I just remembered I forgot to show you guys that I picked up this pair of Converse. They actually were brought by my friend and I didn't know she was bringing them and I picked them up before I knew that she brought them. But yes, I picked up this pair of Converse and I've already worn them out. As soon as I saw these, I was like, oh, this is great. I'd love to wear bunny ears for porch coffee for Easter. Uh, so I, I did spray them with um, antibacterial. Is that the word I'm looking for? Yep, antibacterial Lysol laundry spray. Uh, yeah, they're just cheapo bunny ears. Oh, this is kind of random. I don't even know if they work. 300 LED curtain lights with a remote control. 9 by 8 by 9 by 8 feet. They seem to all be in there and they seem to not have been opened yet. Ooh. Step one, find and plug, find the plug and test the curtain lights. I will do that. Interesting. So yeah, I don't know if these work. 
They're cuttable. They're USB. So that could be cool. 500 curtain lights. This is a pair of uh, high-waisted shaping shears by Spanx. Uh, they have not been opened, and Spanx are expensive. It's an expensive brand, so I decided to get them, see if they would work for me. I don't know. Pantyhose. Oh, they had some cute little... Um, like Daiso accessory things. Uh, some of it is missing, but that's okay. This one seems to be full. Basically, they're things that you could sew onto projects. And this one's got a bow and four heart patches and some um, heart lace at the bottom. And this one has two little ribbon bows and some pink lace at the bottom. I got a few clothing pieces. This is like very me, I think. It's like a red floral um, skirt. Brand is Sonoma. And it's got like um, a tiered skirt with buttons at the front. And actually my friends found this for me and they were like, Claire, this is your style. We were having a blast finding things for each other. And actually it's not like we knew what each other bought. And several times we were like, do you like this? This is your style. And my friends would be like, oh yeah, I brought that. So no, I don't want to take it back home. Okay, cute little skirt, a like waffle fabric loungy shirt with a hood. It's forever 21. I haven't been 21 in a, quite some time, but I think we'll, we can get away with it. Just like a pajama shirt, basically. I think this might be Forever 21 as well. Nope, H&M. Look how cute this shirt is. Very cottage core. I thought that would look nice with like a skirt. Like a skirt. I thought that would look nice with a skirt. Like a puff sleeve cottage core. It's got a pretty floral print to it. The print reminds me of 90s bed sheets, which I don't hate. I love a floral print. Oh, and then the final thing I got, I don't know if you guys are into like vintage tees or thrifted tees. Uh, this seems to have gotten a lot of love. Uh, this is so cool. It's a cutoff. Sailor Moon t-shirt. It has been loved for sure. I don't know that it has a year in it. I don't actually think it's that old. 100% cotton. It's an official Sailor Moon shirt though. Blue tie-dye with all the sailors on there. How cool is that? I can't wait to wear that one. I need to wash it right away. I feel like that was my favorite piece of clothing that I found. What else is in here? Oh, cute little pin with flowers on it. I did find another pin that had a space cat, like a cat in space wearing a space suit with like a bubble on its head. I gave it to my friend. I thought she would really get a kick out of it, but I like this little floral pin. Oh, I saw this. I liked it a lot, like a little, um, choker necklace with lavender beads and then this like painted florally bead at the bottom. I thought that was really pretty. I don't have a lot of necklaces so I thought that could be nice. Oh no I got coffee on it. Okay I, I had finished a coffee and put it back in my bag and it spilled coffee on things. So I'll have to wash this. I feel stupid now. I don't think this has been used before, so I feel bad that I got coffee on it. But guys, look! It's a Totoro lanyard holder! I love Totoro, look! See the coffee I got on him? I'm sorry, Totoro. Oh, I can't wait to use him. How cute is he? Oh. Yes, Totoro. 
Uh, let's move on to candles. I got two candles. Uh, one is a woodwick, like, sample candle. Petite candle. Sand and driftwood. Mmm. Smells very, um, like a earthy men's cologne. Very small. But I love the woodwick candles. They sound so neat. Uh, so yeah, I'm not exactly sure why they'd make a candle this small, but it smelled good, and I like the brand, so I took that. Uh, then a friend of mine found this one and was like, oh, here's another one. Uh, it has been burned maybe one time. There is no... <laughs> Uh, there's no words on it, so I have no idea what it is, but it smells like, mm, a little spicy, like holiday, like maybe vanilla and cinnamon, something like that. I could, I could use that. Are you a candle person if you're watching? I know most people are candle people and I definitely like candles. I just don't like having to spend money on them, so... Okay, here's a big one. So, uh, of course, I went looking for yarn. And my friends kept finding uh, yarn, and I kept, like, batting it down. I don't want to say batting it down. But um, there was, like, some old Super Saver, just stuff I wasn't going to use. Um, there was some weird, not weird, that's not nice. There was some unique novelty yarn, and it was stuff I felt like I couldn't use. And I have so much yarn that, of course, I don't want to get a bunch of it and then not where am I going to put it and not use it so all of that to say it, I wasn't having much luck and then I saw one of the people working pull up this bag and I saw that there was yarn in it so I said I'm going to follow you because I love yarn and she said oh there's a lot in here and then she pulled it out and I was like well is there more and she's like no and I was like oh okay we have a definition of, different definition of a lot. I didn't say that to her, but. So there was a few yarns. And I just noticed, okay, we've got these. One, two, three, four, five. And these are Go Homemade Cozy. Where have I seen these before? Amazon? Go Homemade Cozy. Where have I seen them before? If you remember, let me know. A wonderfully soft and high quality cotton blend, perfect for knitting and crochet. It's 60% cotton, 40% acrylic. Go homemade cozy. Hobie! They sell this at Hobie. H-O-B-B-I-I. -I. Go homemade cozy. And I have never had, I don't think I've had anything from Hobie before, so that's very exciting. The color is really pretty. Like a pinky color. And then the other one, there were four of these. And these are also from Hobie. 100% cotton, rainbow cotton. In this beautiful mint green. And look, I just noticed this. We've got the pink and mint green. They look really cute together. And then the bows that I got are also pink and mint green. Was it mint to be? I think it was mint to be. How cool is that? So I've never had anything from Hobie before. So these I think were one of my favorite things to find. And I thought that they would be really good to make things for the shop that are spring colors. Final, final thing that I picked up. Kind of random, but I thought such a fun thing to find. Look at all those cool stickers. We've got mushrooms, good vibe, love, yerba mate, stay groovy. So if you're not familiar with this kind of case, I thought it might be empty when I picked it up. And I let it sit there. I mean, it was at the first table I saw. And nobody was, like, grabbing for it. So I was like, oh, okay. Here she is, guys. My new ukulele. <laughs> it 
very random. Uh, I decided to take this ukulele. Can I play the ukulele? Not yet. And will I keep her? For for now, I'll keep her. Uh, yeah, I love this. It seems like somebody... Tr I don't know if they learned or maybe they gave up. I don't know. But they put all of the notes on it. Ooh, she sounds so pretty. Perfect. I mean, I, look, I could, I could learn a few simple tunes. Maybe I could use it to sing my intro. Um, it's brand is Hilo, H-I-L-O, since 1926, made in China. It's this beautiful red color. I love it. So that's kind of the most random thing that got picked up is the ukulele. But I feel like I couldn't pass it up. It was calling to go home and be a part of my home. <laughs> that is everything that I got. Um, so some clothes, accessories, candles, yarn, and a ukulele. What do you think? I will definitely be going to more of these events. I had a lot of fun. And I think it's a great way to pick up some new things and not spend any money and... Um, I definitely need to like mentally prepare myself to go to things like this because it is pretty sensory overwhelming. But then also, oh, this is its color terracotta. I didn't even notice that. Does this one have a color? Color 25. Um, also worth it because it's a lot. It was a lot of fun. It was worth it. What was your favorite thing that I found and picked up and brought home? Would you go to something like this? What would you be on the lookout for? I'd love to know down in the comments below. Uh, have you ever been to something like this? Doesn't it sound like fun to you? If you're into thrifting, you can't tell me that this doesn't sound like fun to you. Because it's like thrifting, but free. But it is a, it was a little overwhelming. It was a little overwhelming. Now I can go um, disinfect and wash everything. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Thank you for letting me share another way to have fun and also save money and uh, reuse. That's really important to me. Bye, everybody. Bye. Farewell.